everybody and welcome to a lies of p video where i'm going to be showing you something that i haven't really heard anyone talk about and that is to do with weapon assembly so if we head over here to assemble a new weapon you of course have all of your different hilts and all of your different blades and we know that depending on which blade and which hilt we're using we're going to get different fable arts and it's going to have different scaling but something that you also might want to pay attention to is the attack type. So you'll notice here, if we're looking at Wintry Rapier's Blade, we have Slash and Stab, and these have different icons next to them. The Slash has down pointing arrows and the Stab has neutral lines. What this essentially is telling you is that if you are going to combine a Slash Hilt with this weapon that is a stab type blade you're gonna notice a little bit less damage because they're not working together you're not actually using the pointy end you're slashing with it and this is a use the pointy end kind of weapon so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the winter rapier's blade and we're gonna put it with another stab hilt and see what our damage looks like so the only other pure stab hilt that we have is this one so we're gonna put these together and we're just gonna go over to the dummies outside and see what our damage is compared to putting this with a slash hilt so we're just gonna do one basic attack that's 81 we're gonna do a three hit combo that's 272. We're gonna do a heavy attack, 137. And then the next thing we're gonna do is a charged heavy attack, which is 200. Now it is worth noting that some of these numbers can vary because some of the weapons do actually do different amounts of damage depending on how far away or close you are to a target. So keep that in mind when you are doing damage number testing. Sometimes it can be a little funky to get them exactly right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that same blade, which is the Winter Rapier's Blade, and we're going to couple it with a slash handle. So we're gonna go with the, which one should we do? Maybe we do the puppet saber handle. This is an early weapon. And we're gonna go do some damage number testing. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a basic attack that's 63. I believe that's 10 points less than before. We're gonna do a three attack hit. That's 219. Well, <laughs> it was 219 before I hit him for the final time. <laughs> one heavy attack, 74. And then we're gonna do a hold heavy attack, which is 146. Now, yes, their damage numbers are gonna change based on your scaling as well, because your weapons obviously scale with your stats. So that's another thing that you're gonna wanna keep in mind. But this is just something that I, I did not idea. notice. And it really does affect the damage that you're doing. And it makes sense, right? If you have a blade that is made to stab people, it's obviously going to be doing less damage if you are slashing with it. So if you want to be super optimal, what you're going to want to do when you're putting weapons together is you're going to want to match the slash and stab by looking at these icons. The salamander dagger is actually really interesting because it's both. It actually has stabbing moves and slashing moves. So you can kind of put these with either but yeah, you wanna look at what your weapon is scaling with on the handle, and you wanna pair that with the same damage type. So for me, I'm currently running technique. So if I'm looking through all of these techniques, we've got the dancer's curved sword handle is a B. So we're just gonna select that, and then we're gonna combine it with any slash weapon any slash weapon so you can see here these are arrows pointing down this is a good slash weapon to put it with we can even put it with the dancers curved sword and the salamander dagger because the salamander dagger is both we could put it with the electric coil head so let's just pick one of these we're gonna go with the uh fire axe blade because that sounds ridiculous <laughs> and now we have a slash type weapon with different hilt and different blade that we've assembled that scales with our technique, which is what I'm doing at the moment is a technique build. So this weapon should work pretty well. We got 197, and that's pretty good. Now we're gonna do three attacks of just a basic hit. One, two, three, that's 558. That's a lot of damage. It's actually a lot of damage for how fast we're attacking. Next, we're just gonna do a one not holding heavy attack. That's 227. And then we're gonna do a hold heavy attack. It's 
421. So just to show you a direct comparison of a weapon that has good scaling for my specific build. So we're gonna use the same hilt, which is technique scaling of B. And we're gonna put that with a stab head. So we're just gonna grab any, here we go. We're gonna put it with the Winter's Rapier Blade. Put that together. And we're gonna go see what our damage numbers are compared to using that ax. <laughs> so one attack, 83. We're gonna do a three hit attack, 242. These damagers, these damage numbers are way lower. 99 for a heavy attack. And then for a hold heavy, 167. Now, yes, the fire axe is obviously a heavier weapon, but it's moving pretty fast. I think the speed of these two weapons is pretty comparable. I'm using a hilt that scales with my specific build being technique, but I've mixed and matched the slash and stab damage types, and I'm getting significantly less damage with doing that. So when you are putting weapons together, it's just something to keep in mind. Of course, you don't have to listen to any of this. This is purely if you want to be super optimal with your damage numbers. So if you're someone who's really not too bothered about that, it's not a humongous difference, but it is absolutely noticeable. So yeah, if you want to be a super optimal gamer in Lies of P, make sure that you're not only getting a handle that scales well with your specific build, but make sure that you are matching the slash or stab damage types. If you found this helpful, please leave a like. I'd be super appreciative. If you want to follow for some more videos, that would be super awesome. And then if you want to see me playing through multiple playthroughs of Lies of P, check out the Twitch channel. All of the links are in the description. Thank you guys so much. Bye.